Stay. 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 Oh, be careful. Be careful. Go past some cars over there. Oh, yeah? We'll be back. I'm going to take are they are they working on that citron i don't think so it hasn't moved so. okay so. we'll go check it out but is it called a citron citron you want to come <laughs> you want Cit to you want to go with us citroen <laughs> Cit citroen <laughs> nope wrong car we're taking yeah. taking the rv that we'd never drive let's turn it on come down here push on the little switch <laughs> Guinea, come here, dude. Come here, boy. Let's go. Guinness, come. Guinness. Guinea. <laughs> come on, get inside. He went the long way. Well, he, he managed. All right, let's do it. Come here, young man. Come here, boy. What are you doing with this camera pointing backwards, huh? All right. What do I do with the key? So, come on aboard. We're all crooked, dude. I always fear standing up in here, and then I realize there's plenty of ceiling. You're a poet and didn't know it. See? Uh, that is fantastic. All right. There's no car over there, right? Okay. I don't feel anything <laughs> scraping yet. You shouldn't ask. <laughs> Once I've already All your... completed the turn. That's the thing about this thing is like... <laughs> <laughs> the dizzle. The dizzle. <laughs> dizzle fizzle. Uh-huh. All right. Interesting. Is that a 69 Cadillac? Kenny is so fast on his feet. Twinkle toes for the win. He barely touches the ground. Yeah. Oh, that's a 69 or 70. Nice. Four-door. That's a Fleetwood. Ooh, we got to go check that out. Sick. Is that teal? Yep, I it love sure it. Is. You're, you're in a teal, are you? Yeah. Well, for the era specific cars, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Even the early 90s Toyotas and GMs that came in teal, you know, it's it's very appropriate for those cars. I just love them in that color. I hear you. Yeah. All right. Well, All right. Yes, this is a long jump. Come here, dude. Are you sure you want to jump this far? That's way too much negotiation. Ah, come here, young man. Come here, Guinea. Don't run off. Hey, listen, Guinea, come here. Come here. Come here. You stick by me. I don't need you running off and getting run over by a car. Come here, young man. Something just fell on my head. <laughs> So I think that's a 69. Fleetwoods are awesome. Oh, this car is deluxe. Look at the interior pattern on the poster. It's all original, this thing. Oh my God. Oh, that's sick. It's a brome. Look, it has foot rests. And there's oh, a dog in the back. This thing is clean. Look at the dashboard on these cars. I mean, typical. This is all original upholstery. Wow. The dashboard it, is not cracked, I have to sit which here. is awesome. I, he, I'm getting in. I love the detail work. I mean, your wipers and everything in, on the door panels. It's a great car. I, I want to say it's a 69 or 70. Dan, have you ever seen anything quite like great this? Great-looking car. Such a classic, nostalgic color for the year, you know? Um, awesome. No rust. These typically get real rusted out. 
a little bit in here on the corners, but not bad. Yeah, don't you love the footrests? I could so, not resist so this is, getting this in is, here. This is Fleetwood Brome. Yeah. They have the little footrest. But it looks like an original mile car. Good morning, how are you? Yeah, I mean, might as well. Let's let's hear it run. You got some fuel? Yeah, I got it right here. All right, so this is a typical scenario. On a car like this, it gets donated. Oftentimes, the fuel pumps go bad, and um, you know they've been sitting around for a while. And it's one of those situations where we have to decide: do you do you put a fuel pump in it? This car is kind of worthy of putting a fuel pump in just because of its condition. Is this a 71? Uh, 69. 69, okay. So what he's doing right now is just putting fuel down the carburetor because um, it sounds like the fuel pumps out. And sometimes you could, sometimes you can get the fuel pump working again. These are mechanical fuel pumps. Just let it run for a minute. Let me see if I can get it to, to stay running. Hey Juan, does it have gas in it? Does it have gas? Because you know it's a mechanical fuel pump, and sometimes these things just take some time to get them fired up and, and, and stay running. That it's pegged at top; it might just be empty. I'll put some more in it. Yeah, let's put like five gallons in it, and then we'll fire it up again and see if just you know getting it running a bit, and it and it may start working again. You know? Yeah, the Fleetwood Brougham was like the top-notch car uh, in 1969. You know, you can tell by the. Uh, the foot rests in the back, and it's just, it, this was such a fantastic car for its year. Um, yeah, totally worthy of, totally worthy of putting a little money into this thing and making it a nice, nice car. I would bet 50,000 miles is original because there is not one crack in the dashboard. 52,448 miles. Could it have 152,000 miles? Yeah, possibly. It is a five digit odometer, but by the looks of it, I would guess that this was kind of a one family owned car kind of thing. It looks so well kept. It, it really does. Right? Yeah, it really does. Let me see if there's a trunk I mean, somewhere in here. If this is original paint, it was kept out of the sun for a long time also. You know, cars like this live in garages and- Yeah. And, and uh, we put, uh, put about three gallons in it, and so what we're gonna do is he's running to get another jumper. Um, we'll fire it up. Sometimes with these mechanical fuel pumps, these cars sit around, and sometimes it just takes, you know, letting them cycle through for a, for a while, and and lo and behold, it may stay may stay running. You just never know. Do me a favor, could you just turn it on? You don't have to give it any gas. Yeah. Don't crank it, or yes, no, crank no. it. Uh, yeah, I'll let, you, I'll let you know as soon as he's ready. You ready? Okay, go ahead and crank it. Give it, tap the gas a bit. Again. A little more. Okay, that's enough. Let it idle. Let it idle. All right, so there you go. So this is kind of a typical scenario. What happens with these things is, is as these mechanical fuel pumps, as they don't get used and uh, all the fuel kind of dissipates in time, um, it takes a little bit of running to get them working again and operable. So um, just give it a little gas. 
and then kind of hit it. All right, cool. How many gallons you put in? Two? Uh, like two and a half. Okay. I'll put some more in. All right, cool. So it's common for cars like this to get donated. You know what happens is, is, is uh, elderly people or family members don't know what to do with a car that won't run. They'll put gas in it and they'll realize that it's not, there's something more involved than just, than just doing a, uh, you know, um, a quick fix. And ultimately they end up donating to charitable organizations. And, and so we, they land at our yard and we have to decide, okay, do we, everything we do, these aren't our cars, they're the charity's cars. Our goal is, is to, to maximize the, 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 the amount we sell them for because that's what ends up in the charity's pocket. And uh, of course the, the higher value, uh, the more money for the charity and the higher the write-off for the donor. So um, I suspect this car will do pretty well. Um, this, is, this could be potentially a five to $7,500 car. Let's go drive it, see what it, see what it drives like. All right, so this is a, uh, check it out, power seats. We got power seats, we got tilt wheel. Put the windows down and back for, for the monsters, or for the monster. Man, look at the headliners in great shape on this thing. Let's see, we got brakes. Brakes are a little spongy but not bad. Uh, power steering fluid might be a little low. Um, we're not gonna go far, there's no plates on this car. But, uh, yeah. It's nothing like driving a Cadillac, man. 69, jeez, oh Pete. I was four years old when this car was manufactured. <laughs> uh, the 1969, the Cadillac, I mean, these were limousines. These were often, in fact, they actually manufactured an informal or a formal limousine. And, and uh, this is kind of like having your own family limo. It wasn't so long that you couldn't keep it in the garage, but you could certainly, uh, um, you know, drive it to work every day and take the family out for a nice dinner. Fun car, man. It's a really fun car. But, uh, yeah, so I suspect this car will do really well. Look at that, 52,000 miles on the clock on this thing. And uh, drives great. I mean, probably put a little brake fluid in it. Brake feels a little bit spongy, but certainly not bad. Um, I mean, this, this to me looks like a car that's been sitting around for quite some time. Um, but honestly, take this thing to car shows just the way it is. Great, great car. So, so you know, for those of you that might be interested in bidding on this car, our our sister company just donated. Uh, we'll have this on eBay shortly, uh, and it'll be a no reserve auction. So, highest bidder wins. If this is a car that might interest you, by all means, bid on it. Our plan is to start showcasing a lot of the donations that come through these yards. You know, throughout the year, you'll see just hundreds and hundreds of different makes and models coming through here. And it's always exciting to see something that's been so well preserved. And you know, we take a lot of uh, pride in other people's stuff that's donated because someone that brings something to this, to a charitable organization to help benefit that charity, it's, it's just, a, it's what a great gift. Oh, it's you know, an amazing what gift. A, what a great gift, because yeah. the, the charities that are, that are accepting these donations rely so heavily on the funding that comes from the sale of these cars. And, you know, and it's our job, and we just you know, really appreciate the fact that the charities put their trust in us to maximize the value of these things. And so uh, uh, we're excited to, to be a part of that. But you, know, you could bid on this. It'll be online here uh, shortly, and, and feel free to check out Just Donated. You could Google search Just Donated Cars, and uh, it'll take you directly to the eBay ads, and you could uh, just bid on that stuff yourself. Great car. Love. Great car. Phenomenal. Love it.